The Steve Cochran Show presents the most valuable person on the planet. T. Shane Johnson served his country, United States Marine Corps, and is serving the people of this country again and trying to raise a whole bunch of money for Gary Sinise's RISE program, the R-I-S-E program, which is building smart homes for severely injured heroes. They're trying to raise a million bucks. Uh, T. Shane has been homeless. He nearly died three times. He's overcome an awful lot in his life. And now he's going to slap a 100-pound pack on his back and hike. How far? Well, let's go to T. Shane for the details. Good morning, sir. Good morning, sir. How are you? Thank you for your service. I am fine. How are you? Oh, I'm living the dream every day. Well, of course, right? Because you've seen the bottom, and why not be on top? Yes, sir. (laughs) That's right. Well, I didn't really disclose whether it's a nightmare or not, but we'll just keep it as the fact that it's a dream. Uh, Look, there is no nightmare when you're doing what you're doing because you're doing the right thing with your life and trying to help people, uh, and you're doing that every day. Yeah, absolutely. That makes you the most valuable person on the planet. Like, you need that kind of pressure. No, 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 not at all. It's not like that. It's just, I, you know, when, when people say thank you for your service, I say, you know, just just be the American that we're worth that's worth serving. You know, just go out there and love your family, live your dream, work hard every day, and and do the right thing. And that's what makes it worth everything that we sacrifice. I know you speak around the country and do motivational speaking to corporate groups and all that. Um, and we'll throw your website up. People want to track you down as well. But uh, I th- there's an interesting piece of your strategy, which I want you to talk about for a second, and that's be done by 2.30. What do you mean about that? Yeah, so that's um, so everything that you're talking about is on one or two of our websites. So hikeacrossamerica.com, we'll talk a lot about our, our hike venture and our leadership tour this year. And then um, tshaneinspires.com uh, specifically talks more about done, thir- done by 2.30 and all the things that we offer. So Done Pine 230 was a concept that uh, I put together many, many years ago. And then when I got into the book writing side of it, I, I published um, my third book, which will be released in January, Done by 230 with my daughter. And the concept was accomplishing everything that you need to accomplish so that you can become CEO of your true business, which is your at-home family. And 230 became a concept because what ended up happening is I noticed that I always wanted to be there for my daughter each day when she got out of school. And that happened at 230. So I thought to myself, you know, if I could teach my people and lead my people and lead my organization in a direction where we can accomplish everything as quickly as possible before that 2.30 mark, that we might be able to actually spend more time with our family, have more balance with life, and and do uh, a lot better things. And it, it really came more to fruition on my, I think it was my second year of running across the country, speaking with a lot of homeless, speaking a lot, with a lot of people that were going through tough times. And it always led back to the beginning stages of family where either their their father was missing or their mother wasn't around and they weren't time because they were, you know, just middle class families working so many hours just trying to keep their head above water. So I felt that it was important to share, you know, my experience and my knowledge and how I'm able to spend so much time with my daughter and take that time off. So that's what that the concept of that book really uh, nails down. Yeah, and it's really all about priorities and priorities and how you live your life. Uh, it's a concept you can learn. And we can all spend more time with our families if we choose to do that. Um, we all know how many, how many, uh, how much time during a day we goof off at work or aren't focused. Uh, you get focused, you get to do more with your life. So anyway, more on that later. In the meantime, how far are you going to hike? So this year will be 1,100 miles total. We'll cover 12 to 22 miles a day carrying a 100-pound pack. And uh, I attempt to at least break two world records. So during Old Dominion University's game on October 5th, I'll be the halftime show where I run in uh, to break the record of the fastest one mile carrying a 100 pound pack in less than 15 minutes. And then um, we'll keep trekking through the East Coast all the way down until we get to the end where on the Space Coast I will also attempt to break the world record for the fastest marathon carrying a 100 pound pack in less than six and a half hours. So in total, um, it'll be about 1,100 miles on my feet. Uh, We're supposed to speak to about over 180,000 people um, across the country. And uh, this will be really focused on on leadership and the positive side of the veteran community and, you know, we as fathers and parents and all of that great stuff. Um, but, yep, that's the overall mileage. The 100-pound pack you carry, is it in backpack form, or how do you carry it? It is. So it'll be two parts. So one, it's a 100-pound vest, um, and then uh, I put it in the pack as well. So I kind of change it up a little bit so it's not too much on me. But the idea, I get a lot of questions about the 100-pound pack. What's the significance of the weight? And I explained it, it's, it's the burden of leadership. You know, I think nowadays we've got a 
really big problem with lack of leadership within the military community, within our personal lives, within everything. We all, you know, we're all leaders in some capacity or another. So the idea is that as a leader, we don't get to run away from it. And I think um, in general now, people feel that leadership is something that you can put down or walk away from and that it's easy to give up. But some of us just don't, we don't, we don't have that. It's, it's our responsibility to continue our duty no matter whether we served or didn't serve and, or if we're parents or any kind of capacity in work or whatever, we're out there continuing to lead. And we have to kind of endure the pain and know that that's the best part because if we, you know, we sacrifice our free will, others can have theirs. And leadership needs to be brought back to a little stronger point. So it's the concept of, hey, if I can get up at 3 o'clock in the morning, I can throw 100 pounds on my back. You know, I can go out, I can impact lives, businesses, continue to run my businesses, continue to make time for my daughter. You can take that 1% and lead in anything that you do in life. See the stops on a hike across America and more at what website? Hikeacrossamerica.com. Hikeacrossamerica.com. And again, the benefits go to the Gary Sinise Rise Program. Uh, building smart homes for severely injured heroes. And for all things related to T-Shane, where do we go for that? T-ShaneInspires.com. And anything on social media, the handle is at T-Shane Johnson. Keep up the great work, man. Yes, sir, will do. And again, thanks for allowing us to share the message on your show. It's my fine United States Marine, T-Shane Johnson, carrying 100 pounds 100 for a few pounds. thousand miles. 100 pounds. How do, you, how, do you run, how do you run a mile in 15 minutes with 100 pounds? On? I have no idea. I, I mean, how about a marathon in six hours with a hundred pounds? On? Have you ever worn a weighted vest? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I mean, it's uh, but twenty talking, pounds. Yeah, that's what I was going to say. I'm uh, talking about twenty twenty five pounds. Yeah, I don't know how you do. It. How about five pound ankle weights? Awesome. You ever try that? Yeah, put ankle weights or shoe weights on. We just go for a walk. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> no, <laughs> I mean, I'm, I'm I'm with you. And he's running. That's, that's good story. T Shane, most valuable person on the planet.